So it's September 21st, 2020. What I've been seeing happening in Israel in the past few days has been quite um, alarming, quite um, somewhat amazing, because we know that the country of Israel is um, more or less God's time clock in regards to prophecy. In Israel, we are seeing record numbers of uh, COVID cases. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on Israel. And you will see in the country of Israel, we've got 190,037 cases registered so far. Uh, the deaths are 1,272. And now I'm just going to uh, maximize this here. And I want you to look at this. So here's a map of the daily cases beginning way back here in February, March, in April, um, going on into July when it started to uh, to really hit them in July. And it kind of it kind of leveled off or kind of petered out a little bit. But here in September, now just around the time of Rosh Hashanah, the Feast of Trumpets. Now this is very significant, what is happening in the spiritual realms. We better, as a church, we better get on the right side and we better get either hot or cold. No more lukewarm. We better get in prayer, clean up our lives, make sure we're living right with God. And as the scripture says, to look up and lift up your heads because your redemption is drawing near. Let's look over here at the Jerusalem Post. Here it says, hospitals refuse coronavirus patients as cabinet readies new restrictions. Here again, we got things happening in Israel that are just... Uh, Historic, historic. Going on over to look at the timesofisrael.com. Flooded by cases, hospitals in Jerusalem and Ashdod stop taking virus patients. We are entering, we are beginning the times of Jacob's trouble. Time to get on our faces and cry out to God. Time to pray like never before. Pray for the church. Pray that people come to repentance. Remember, the only reason why God has waited so long is because he wants people to repent. It's time to wake up.